What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to our first ever Nega Cube draft. The Nega Cube, for those who don't know, uh, you can find the information in uh, command Nega Cube if you're in the chat. <clears throat> for those who don't know, this is a cube that was designed by Natalie Weizenbaum. Hopefully, I pronounced that correctly. And uh, it's basically a cube that has removed that that is done it does, does not include any cards from the most recent vintage modern uh or legacy cubes <clears throat> so you literally have only cards that are not in those cubes so that means no dual lands no fetch lands we have rugged prairies in place we have the filter lands we have the double face lands and honestly i don't even know what to make of it so it's really interesting. Uh, it, it like obviously like most of the most powerful cards are in those cubes, like Jace the Mind Sculptor, Power, you know things like Sylvan Library. Um, so without those cards, I don't even know what this card does. Oh god, oh god, I gotta pick something. What is this? Well, okay, I'm just gonna take the land. It's safe. It's nice and safe. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. I'm just. I got. I got. Got a little flustered. Confiscate's nice. Prison Realm is decent removal. Hmm. This is a 12 soul for 10. It costs one leech. One leech, one less for each attacking creature. It is a 12 12 trampler. So if they attack with two, it only costs eight. How do you how do you beat that deal? <clears throat> so I think I'm just leaning towards more fixing. I think I'm gonna take talisman here. I mean, Firelet's great, but we could also wield the Rugged Prairie, and then this uh, gives us a two mana, a two mana little. Not only is it fixing, but it's also um, ramp, as it were. I actually have Watcher of Tomorrow in my cube. Wait, this isn't Vintage Cube. That's true. That's true. Gamma Set, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Long time no see, buddy. Gruel Spellbreaker is interesting. Command the Dread Horde feels like what I want to be doing, though, right? So we got white, green, red, green, double black. But also the Champion of Ronus. <coughs> I bet there's some sweet shenanigans I can do. Let's take Champion. I want to draft this like the Live the Dream cube, where I just do some shenanigans, right? It's not as broken, but I think there's still some shenanigans to be done. Michael does have a real birthday in a few hours. <clears throat> um, what are we taking? Probably just Kozilek's Predator here. Make a 1-1, one, one, make a 1-1. One, one. Just any of the creatures, different names for each of them, create a token. I'm going to take this guy. I'm not really interested in committing to uh to white just yet just because we have this guy although all the skyclaves is pretty decent <clears throat> voyaging satyr could be good what do you mean by real birthday uh nothing nothing <laughs> uh dark Bird pathway does leave us open I'm an hour and 15 minutes from reaching my goal. What's your goal? I'd like to buy your fetch lands for $1 and 50 cents. Are you good with that? I am not. Unfortunately, I am selling four play sets or not four play sets, but for uh, a play set of polluted deltas and uh, flooded strands. Those are the only ones I have left. Rish car seems great. I like a rich car. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Rishkar Hogar it is. Uh, 
Hmm. <clears throat> I hate my voice and shouldn't stream. Actually, Toski seems real good. Scoot Swarm seems pretty decent if we can uh if we can get it going, but Um Orin Reef the Vastwood. Hmm. I'm going to take Battlefield Forge because I think we can still salvage some sort of Naya nonsense. Plus, like, it goes the best with the, the lands we have. Uh, nothing in that pack was really super um, compelling for us. Does this cube have a trick mind? No, it just stifle. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> what does this guy do? A 7-5. You may sacrifice any of our artifacts and our creatures. Bug us for each permanent sacrifice this way. It's just a trampler. I mean... We could put it into play with Ronus, right? Like, this isn't uh, a creature. Sure, you know what? It beats double red, I guess. It's still a 7-5 Trampler. Oh, let's take Ancient Idol now. <clears throat> I kind of like Snakeskin Veil here. We kind of want to protect Rishkar or Toski or Champion. <clears throat> okay, well. I guess Perilous Mirror is fine. I really, I do like the inscription, but, um, you know. Oh, Maul of Skyclaves came back. Voltaic Brawler? Claim the first one. We don't really have any, like, sacrifice outlets here. I'll just take the Brawler. This might not actually be terrible if we are putting a bunch of big things into play, so. Ooh, we got a Sarkon and an old school Vorin Clex. That guy costs eight mana. <clears throat> also a Brushland. I wonder how many times I'll die to Overwhelming Stampede in this cube. I would assume a lot. Uh, can't control a creature until end of turn. Creature control plus some haste. I don't really even like this Sarkon. I'm going to take the Vorin Clex. And hopefully the Primal Might comes back. You went the entire month of March without doing takeout, delivery, or fast food? That seems insane. We're living in a takeout <clears throat> delivery world right now. Uh, Yeah, Jimmy, I can do that for you. Um, Look, we have another, another fixie land. Nothing really great in this pack, so I think I'm am going to, I think I'm, I think I'm am going to take the fixie land. Thank oh, Jimmy with the gifted subs. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, Nickel Bolas. If only there was a way to put that into play. Hmm. Well, there's not. So don't be stupid. Predator triggers. Rishkar triggers. Brawler triggers. 
I'm weighing my Panharmonicon options. I think it's actually just Treasure Keeper. <clears throat> yeah, that seems fine. I would really love to take Nicol Bolas, but I don't think it's meant to be. Oh, we got a little pig, pig, pig. Pig, 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 pig. That's old school. I think I'm on Edge of Autumn. <clears throat> and if Flint Hoof 4 comes back, we're just going to take that guy. I want to ramp to 4. 4 seems like the sweet spot. <laughs> we are living in a delivery world, and I'm a delivery girl. Knew it. I always knew. So I just learned tonight that Vin Diesel has a rider in his contract that he can't lose fights. And that's insane. That's insane to me that you could be like just a guy who doesn't lose fights. Hey, I got a script. It'd be perfect for you, but you got to lose one fight. Oh, sorry, I don't really do that. Well, shit. Never mind then. <clears throat> What is this thing? High Cliff Felidar. I don't even know what this is. When enters the battlefield for each one and choose a creature with the greatest power, that player and then destroy those creatures. I think that seems good. I'll take that thing. It's a 5-5 five, five Vigilance that like <clears throat> kills the thing. Oh, Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Create a 1-1 one, one, plus 1. Okay, it's very Elspethy. Look at the top 6, reveal a warrior or equipment among them. You're a warrior. You're a squirrel. You're a pirate, you're a praetor, you're a druid. Okay, we're not looking good on warriors. Oh boy, I think it's still probably the best bet though. Duskwatch recruiter may be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I just don't use that ability. We also do have Maul of the Skyclaves. Sure, we'll take this, what the hell. It's a planeswalker, man. It's a planeswalker, man. <clears throat> Is this a sky scanner format, guys? I actually don't know. I do think it's a fertile ground format. Recruiter. Was there a card with the with the name Recruiter in it? I don't even know. Scoot Mob. <clears throat> Mayor of Avabrook. Oh man, these are both good. I think we're taking the mayor. The one you just explained why you didn't take. Interesting. I want to take Primal Might because we can make a bunch of mana with Boring Clex. Duskwatch Recruiter. Fuck. What a dumb dumb I am. Yeah, a little Boggart Ram Gang. Sure, I'll take that. Oh, Nicol Bolas came back? God. Maybe I'll just find a way to make it work. I got Dark Boar Pathway. I got Fertile Ground. That's a name one. <gasps> Any color. Thank Flint you. came back. Oh, what up? Not the plague. It's your boy. Man, what a what a one plaguey boy. Under the sea. <clears throat> On a blanket with Michael B is where he'll be. Not not me per se, but Michael B. You know, you guys get it. Oh, Temple of Triumph came back? Well, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't think that's a very good Sarkon. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.
Also, all your subs tonight will go towards the month of March in terms of Twitch payouts and income and things like that. Um, yeah, I'll just take this one. I got chat roll rolls must be because new. F oh, okay. Chat rules. Got it. Yeah. I think if you log in on a new device, it probably doesn't have like, there's no cookies in there telling your phone that like, Hey man, you've been here before. Dracu Seth. Oh, we're taking Dracu Seth for sure. It is, it is some mad, last minute March sub man. At the end of the month, I try to be a little more like, I don't want to say aggressive, but like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's like the end of the month. So you're trying to hit your quota, you know, <laughs> whatever, whatever that means in terms of streaming. I don't really have a quota per se. Oh, Juzam Jr. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the resub, my dude. If I send donations to your Facebook, you get more money. And right now that's true. That's true. Yes, Facebook donations I get 100% of because they're not donations, really. They're just like, it's just people giving you money, you know? You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so the thing about that, Kerwood, is I'll just take this Boros Reckoner right now. <laughs> I do like this Palaka Worm a lot. I also like Wild Growth. Yeah, you guys can just cash at me. That's cool. Do Elder Dragons count as dragons if a card? Yes, they do. As long as it has dragons in the card type, it cares about it. This is this is for this is for Chorwit. Oh, I like a Green Warden actually. We also don't have any six drops, so and nothing ramps here except for Elysian Cadiatid, which is actually pretty good. But we have a bunch of ramps, so I'm just gonna take the big fat boy. Oh man, Kermit gave me. <laughs> 10 Boros Reckoner bugs. Oh, God. Kerwin's wonderful, dude. I actually don't have Cash App. I have Venmo and I have PayPal mostly. Those are the mostly the ones I use. I feel like I don't need a third app. Hmm. 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 Linvala is pretty decent. I shouldn't wait 30 days for when you're sub to spoil you and chat. Um, I mean, you could. I, I, you know what? I don't, if you guys want to support, like the timeline of supporting really isn't important to me, right? Like I'll take one dollar. Sure. Or else Reckoner might be Kerwood's favorite creature card in magic as well. Glenthorn Buccaneer is my second favorite. I have no idea what that even is. I'm going to Google it right now. Oh, is this the 2 3 for, for 2 4 for 3? This is actually a surprisingly intricate card. Imperius Perfect, Winding Way. Um, I like Thriving Heath. Just like an, it's like it's just a dual land. I mean, this feels better than Vivid Crag. They're both coming into play tapped, but this one's actually letting us use the mana indefinitely. Yeah, I'll just take the right. Also, we could name blue for this and get a Nicol Bolas out. Summon Primordial. Destroy a non-creature permanent that player controls. Basically, Woodfall Primus. Yeah, we're definitely taking this guy. This guy's great. <clears throat> I'm probably taking Dargo the Shipwrecked out. Like, this guy doesn't really do much for us. And all three of these are just better. Ooh. Fights up to one creature you don't control. Hmm. Oh, it's also up to, so I can just be like, pick, 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 pick. Um... I'm going to take this to Johnny and hope the Apex... Altasaur comes back. This is 28 cards. Oh, dear. What's my favorite creature? It used to be Mystic Snake. Is there a theme to this cube? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's lots of themes. Use command Nega Cube. <clears throat> Spitting Image is really good. Wow, that's actually surprisingly good. I don't think I care about this guy. 
We do have to make lots of cuts here, unfortunately. Flint of Four is not, unfortunately, not going to make the cut. Maul doesn't seem great, and Harry doesn't seem great. Incubation Druid seems pretty good, though. Oh, uh, love and crafting. No, no need for apologies, buddy. You're just being ridiculous. Well, Palaka Worm came back. Oh, man. Love it. I mean, I feel like all of these are better than Vorinclex. Vorinclex is just a mana sucker. Okay, we're going to take it that betrays here. This is 25. Like, I, I really want to cut Boros Reckoner, but I'm not going to because of... What was the temp in Colorado today? It was about 40, 30 to 40. It was sunshine, but no snow. So kind of kind of in the middle this deck actually seems pretty sweet I don't know if this is par for the course I don't know if our deck is terrible <clears throat> I, I really don't know anything Buddy, you don't talk about Thief of Sanity anywhere close to how much you talk about Golos, because so I I don't I don't think I believe you for a second. I think I'll take the Voren Clex out. I mean we have Linvala Green Warden. We have a lot of creatures to hit off of both Miraculous Recovery and Champion of Ronus, which is kind of what we were building around here. <clears throat> oh, Mirror of Avabrook can go. Like all of our early stuff is this actually seems this actually seems decent. You, you, not you, you, and you. All right, sort by color. Very heavy green. Six, seven, eight, and technically nine, plus the talisman. Uh, no blue. Three, four, five, six, seven, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. <clears throat> I will play first. Uh, snap it off. If we hit a land, we can go champion of Ronus. And then if we hit a, a, a bonkers creature. Okay. That's not, that's not what we're looking for. Still need that land. Fleece man lion. That's a good one. Land. Living the dream. Probably just want to play the red side here. This is the first time I've actually put a crag crown path, well, a dual face land into play on Magic Online. I believe. <clears throat> Give me something good. 
they didn't give me anything good at all. So what we can do Um, problem might for two, this is going to be a five, five. We can't attack though, but I think it's still important to get the fleece main line off the board. And actually, if they want to trade with both of these, that's totally fine. This is actually some decent value because we still have Miraculous Recovery. And yeah, this is actually okay. Well, I'll be. Something good. Ooh, Toski's interesting. Not super interesting in terms of... <clears throat> so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, the risk that redeems is kind of scary, but it does take six. And they only have four right now, so that's... Okay. deal i mean thankfully they have five one ones and this is a one one so oh dear yep that's pretty amazing that card's fucking bananas cool Th this card's gonna single handling win the game right now like that's insane this card is broken and fucking aether revolt limited it was a miserable card to play against yep does not matter. We will take five. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy this guy. All the dancers in your grand cafe. So next turn, the block here, you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I might as well keep the big guys back and just get in there with these guys. We're going to draw two here, so that's pretty good. Sure. All right. I mean, not bad. We can also pitch this next turn to copy another Ridge Scale Tusker. So like what I said was an untrue Ridge Scale Tusker is just is still absolutely broken, but it just happens to be good for us too. So Every dog must have his every day. Oh boy. Okie dokie. I mean, I think we're still actually doing okay. We have three blockers. They could take five, six, and ten. We could take 12 and go to one, but then they probably lose on the next turn. They do. <laughs> they would have to tap out. The, oh, the Vigilance is good. 
Yeah, actually, the vigilance is real good. So we take 11 here. 6, 9, 10. No, we take 12. We go to 1. But we get to eat three of their guys. Deal. So if we copy this guy again, they block three biggest things. They take... And the, our guys don't even kill it. So we definitely want three blockers is really the, the lesson here. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. So we can actually play one and then... We can put both of those into play, which is pretty insane. Yeah, we can we can cheat in the primordial. Yeah, this is this is this is pretty good. I guess it doesn't matter which one we play. We want to guarantee that we gain the life. I guess that's more important. Two, three. This leaves us with three blockers. We're going to gain seven, though, so we actually might as well just attack with these guys, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, and we're at eight, so that's pretty good. Oh, they're double blocking that guy. Seems fine with me. Actually, not sure how they're going to win here. I don't have green for worm. How dare you? Actually, if we were at one and we had to rely on talisman, we did not. But we had fertile ground. So. That was actually pretty sweet. Huh. <sighs> Hmm. <laughs> We've all seen shit before. Yeah, well, you're you're not wrong. Thank you. Eric with the gifted sub again? Oh my god, two gifted subs? Oh my goodness. The sand looks cool. Rishkar does not have a second creature to to do shenanigans with, but that's okay. Um I'm gonna bottom it. We need more things to we need more things to cast things. Some people call them lands. Yeah, I don't know. I call them manas. <laughs> Spencer, I fucking miss you, buddy. Y'all got any of them manas? Oh, look, it's a little it's a little lion. That might actually be hard to beat if they go land monstrous it. We're just like, oh, that's good. I mean, we're actually in good shape if we can just hit lands. Okay. I see why you would. I cannot believe you've done this. Oh, they're going to do it immediately? No, they're going to Rishkar. 
If they put a counter on the Fleeceman line, they're not able to monstrous it. Okay. Yep, that's not good. That's great for us, actually. I think that's how that works, right? Or am I thinking of something else? I'm thinking of Adapt, aren't I? Son of a biscuit. I personally would have monstrous this immediately, but... Land? It's land adjacent, I would say. <sighs> okay, well. Monstrous is a state. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, because it has to like be monstrous or not monstrous. Got it. Got it. So our hand is six drop, six drop, seven drop, seven drop, seven drop. Snakeskin veil. Hmm. It's not ideal. We'll say that. Come here. Come here, bud. Come here, big bang. Hunter's trying to come in, but he's scared. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Come on. Come on, Jake. Hunter, where are you going? Come on, right. You going this side? What's happening right now? I don't even know where he is right now. Just those guys, huh? Okay. He doing big lay down on the floor over there. So what happened? They monstrous it now. Well, that does a thing, but I'm pretty sure we're already quite dead. Hmm. Can go block, block. I guess we're alive. Steven with a resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, that comes into play tapped. That's unfortunate. I mean, Linvala can actually keep us alive. Hmm. They tap that guy and they tap our other guy. And then we take, okay, we're dead, actually. We needed this to come into play untapped. I guess we could have taken one here to do that. <sighs> yeah, that was probably better. Well, you know what? Sometimes you mess up, okay? It happens. Magic's a hard game. A lot of things going on. I mean, we have 17 lands plus Talisman, Incubation, Druid, Fertile, and, ed and Edge of Autumn, and Rishkar. Like, there's a lot of things. I don't know what path means. What are you saying right now? You're saying the word path? Oh, you guys are talking. You guys are having a sidebar. Got it. Is this not? Is this not? Why is it being all weird? It's like all caught up on the top, man. The green screens are some drama. <sighs> Take recovery out for a precursor golem instead. I kind of like perilous mirror more than like ram gang. One more land here, and I would snap this hand off so fast. Cool. Guess that'll do. All right. Yep, this is a great, this is a great match. This is fantastic. Handily win game one after a struggle. Get mana screwed game two. Have to mold a five game three. Never sees a green source. <sighs> Magic. Always a good fucking time. Always a always a fair and balanced experience. Relying on nothing but skill. Come on, green source. <laughs> Oh, good times. <laughs> yep, got
got a harrow there. Hold on one second. Close the mess. Okay. Green source. Five drop. This is this is fun. When did playing games on Twitch no longer become a th I have no idea what that means. Where are the green manas, Spencer? You're asking the hard-hitting questions. I mean, they're going like turn four carry added. And Ronus. Well, that guy could be problematic. Green source, we could still be in this. Maybe. If you guys were ever wondering what the textbook definition of being robbed is, you'll see a picture of this fucking game right next to it. Mm, boy. Yep, put counters on all your guys. Oh man, being able to exert Champion of Ronus while also not tapping him to attack. That's pretty wild. Yep, that's that's a lot to do. That's all I need to see. Look at this, no land. Cool. It's almost like I'm playing a deck with not 17 lands. Being robbed. <laughs> see, that's funny. See, that's a good joke. Uh, exert just means they don't untap during the next untap step. Uh, if they don't tap at all, then exert is just free. You're still a winner in my eyes. That's important. That is important. <sighs> hey, at least we got multiple lands to cast our four drop. Maybe we can draw some fat daddy in between. Fat daddy. Fat daddy. Oh, yeah, you feel like the ability should have tapped the creature? I feel like it doesn't come up nearly enough for that to be relevant, you know what I mean? Like, we're actually going to play Fertile Ground first because uh, it uh, can tap for any color, and it's much less likely. It's less likely to be destroyed than an artifact. Big city knights. Yeah, like, I feel like you actually, I mean, I feel like, so not tapping it as part of the ability, I think, is better because it rewards being able to, like, Vigilance is not a common ability, right? Like, no one's like, hey, I'm going to get Vigilance on all my creatures. Um, So, like, being able to do that, it, like, being able to give the creature Vigilance and kind of exploit the exert mechanic is, is pretty sweet because it kind of rewards you for using, like, like, all the cards that give Vigilance are not, like, super high quality. No one's really looking for Vigilance. So it's a nice little, like, bonus. Oh, man, if this guy gets to live. Big City Knights. Let's see what we got up here. What's up top? Actually. Interesting. Man, do I just wait one turn? It's very tempting. I don't think so. Because it also gives them one turn, so... So here's what we're going to do. It's going to be a little Kerwitz special here. We're going to pay just, just those. Use a red here and a red here, and then we can get this Reckoner down. Thank you! I barely know her! Love and Crafty, welcome back. Always good to see you, buddy.
current special is eating pizza in the shower. Oh, Jesus. This guy, this escalated quickly. If they don't have a way to deal with this, we're drawing snake scan and it's like just just done. They're just done. Oh, that's it? I gotta drack you, Seth, and you're gonna be you're gonna be pay, playing down some Aloros. Oh boy, it's not looking good, my my doodles. Deals four damage to the target, three damage to two other targets. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Bam, four. I don't think I even care about your face here. I think we're just gonna kill all your board. Four, three, three. Do 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 do. Oh God, if they have a family, I bet. Oh, my time spell remastered box just I didn't pick up any. And after Mike opened up his, I was like, man, I wish I picked one up. I feel like it's too late to get them at like a reasonable price though. So feel bad for me. I feel like this game is over. I mean, I'm no expert, but I think our deck is sweet. Also spitting image. We could have spitting image of the Drakki Seth. <laughs> It's legendary, though, so that would be a really stupid play on my part, but, you know. Two seventy five is not bad. I feel like anything under 300 right now is pretty good. Deck is good with forests. I want to play sealed with my roommate. I don't want to play sealed with anyone. I don't want to play sealed with anyone. I just really dislike sealed. I feel like the effort of like in my brain, the effort of categorizing the cards, and this is a, this is a, this is a real weird thing. Um, and maybe some of you guys feel the same way. With draft, it's like a slow process where I'm building a deck one at a time. With like, it's really not even. I wouldn't want to say hard, but really like unenjoyable for me to like categorize a sealed pool into different colors. And then you take out the playables and then you're like, okay, how about black and green? Okay, no, how about black and red? Okay, how about green and white? How about white and red? And it's really like, that's really kind of obnoxious to me because it's just like, you're kind of narrowing everything down until you get like the correct combination. Oftentimes there's only like one or two of. So like, you just have to be like, okay, I only have, man, I have 13 really good blue cards, but only six really good white cards. So do I play a third color? And I mean, I guess this is like, like you can definitely argue this is like some of the skill of sealed or some of the strategy, but I just don't find it that fun because I feel like in sealed, unlike draft, you're mostly trying to just find out like what colors you have the best cards in and how many of them. And then you're just playing those colors. You know what I mean? Like I prefer drafting, but COVID is a thing. It's true. What is this? At the beginning of your end step, you may manifest the top card of your library. Okay. That's good. That card's good. We do have a Sylvan Primordial, but we don't have any way to really do it. I guess we get to play a Treasure Keeper. That's pretty cool, right? Treasure Keeper. Trapper Keeper. Treasure Trapper. Treasure Trapper. This is four. That this puts us to six next turn, but that doesn't do anything. So we can actually just play that next turn. Big city nights. Well, fuck me, I guess. I don't know. What you, just I have six. I don't know what the problem is.
My dad told me today how much the comics have gone. Oh, comics have been insane recently. So <laughs> here's a funny story. I'll show you guys. You guys will like this. I picked this up earlier last year for about 3600 hundo. This is uh, Incredible Hulk 181. It is the first appearance of Wolverine. You're going to have to deal with the green screen here. Picked this up last year. Not even that late last year. Or not even that early, rather. Uh, now it is worth about 8K. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if the if this bubble that the comic market in right now, the comic market's in, is going to bust. But it's really big right now. It's a really big bubble. Oh, uh, yes, the Invisible Hulk. <laughs> a classic. Big city lights. Or is it nights? Fuck, I don't even know, man. Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, guess we'll just take it all. Take it all. Cradle for about 200 is super nice. I would love to pick up a cradle. I still need one for my cube that is not a, let's say, let's say counterfeit. We have two blockers. We do actually have one. But we're going to get rid of two things. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd survive. This kills their primordial mist, but that doesn't do much. Big City Mikes. <laughs> I'd buy a sub from there. You guys ever go to Big City Mikes? Big Mayo approves this decision. Which one do I choose? Probably the Daring Saboteur, I would imagine. We go to two. But then we top deck Plockworm and it's all gravy. What does this do? Turn a creature from your river to the battlefield. Sure, that's fine. going on this guy okay as long as they don't have a removal spell we are good to go oh i see um that still only puts us to two though right discard a card Go to Toski here. I mean, it still puts us to two. We get to replay this with land. Then we have block, block, block. So we can actually go block, block, block. It actually seems okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're not in a great position here.
Well, Crystal Shard is unfortunate. Kozilek's Predator provides us with some beauties. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Pump. One, two, three, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Hmm. Man, where's a Palaka worm when you need it? One, two, three, four. We have one, two, three, four. We can actually just kind of pump this, right? No attacks. Yeah, I know you're going to have to do the thing. We all know. I mean, I think we're dead. Oh, they didn't even try to crystal shard. There's no incentive not to crystal shard. You just crystal shard, make me pay a mana. Because now I can potentially pump this after blocks. We're not dead. And that's really the best you can ask for, I think. That's actually just fine. Okay, well, there's a lot of things they're doing. Okay, so we can actually go one, two, three, four, five and pump this. But then they can try to bounce it. We have to sacrifice the other spawn. And I actually don't think that's necessarily worth it. I don't think that actually does anything here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight attackers. We can block four of them. So we need to, one, two, three, four. Can't block this. So we need three more guys on the board. This guy do got reach. One, two, three, four, five. This is, gives us five bodies. And they have, yeah, we're just going to concede here. They're actually, I think we're just way too far behind. Left me far behind. It's our ultimate. Deals damage to the circuit. You go twice the number of equipment you control. Okay, so it's actually blank. It's fascinating. Huh. I feel like Maul could even be decent here. I think our deck is good. I think we just keep getting kind of trounced here. I'm not really. We have so many two drops, dude. Sure. You know what? You got it. I'm going to send the white back. Dracu Seth actually does need <laughs> triple red, so. If we never see a red again, at least we can cast a Dracu Seth. So 
not a terrible three drop. Oh God, I'm an idiot. Of course, we're just going to take a damage for no reason. Good times. Let's move that to the front. Yep. That is fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of just want to play this because if they kill it somehow, we just get to Miraculous Recovery. Plus it's got Vidge. Oh, ain't got no Vidge. So long, Vidge. Well, I guess we'll say green. I mean, I'll trade a Frost Lynx for a Cosmox Predator. Maybe I'll even get it back. This is fine. I mean, they have we have uh, one card in hand. They have six, five. Oh, what up, Garbage Andy? My hand is Garbage Andy over here. Can I get a nine damage through? Oh, they're just trading. Love that. Oh, it's handsome and lovely? It sure is. You bet your sweet took us. Oh, they have five power on board, which is good against this guy. Of course, we're just drawing mono. See, this is what I mean. Like, last game, we draw not enough lands and no spells. Does that make sense? I mean, like, you guys, I don't have to explain it. You guys saw the distribution of lands to spells that were playable. And uh, this is just kind of more of that. I really don't want to trade 3 2 and 2 1 for, for this guy, but maybe I do. Maybe it's just fine. I mean, Daring Saboteur is also an outlet for them to... Man, where's my snake skin thing? I would say I wish I still had Miraculous Recovery, but... I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of most Corset cubes because obvious reasons. Wow, this is a big one. Black Sun Zenith for... Four. Okay. Big thing. Cool. Sweet deal. On the bright side, they only have three cards. So, you know, maybe that's good for... <laughs> Fucking Abyssal Persecutor, dude. Oh, God. Wonderful. Let's get a Boros Reckoner and just kill them with it. Primal Might, this guy. Champion of Roan Haas. Counter it. Ah, oh, sounds good. Okie dokie. Well, they get to deal a six. We go to seven. If the champion of Roan is six, I'm pretty sure we can win. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they don't have a removal spell and they just don't play anything, it's pretty good for us, right? We do need a creature that's not... If, like, if they play a creature that's not this guy and we just get to Primal Might it. And then if we draw like a Dracuset, that's cool too. Or a Palaka Worm, something like that. Who knows? I 
All right, we're going to one. <laughs> Sweet. So I feel like they're kind of in top deck mode. They also have to get rid of their Persecutor at some point. I mean, I, if they attack, we're just going to block and stay at one and assume they don't have Mortar Pod because that would be funny. Mortar Pod's actually a great out. You actually just equip as a Persecutor, deal us the one, and then the Persecutor's also dead. That's pretty good. Okay, land is fine. Oh, no attacks, huh? do it oh got him <laughs> oh man you didn't let us attack with our 11 13 sylvan primordial dang all right we still got there still feeling good Living the dream. I will play first. This hand seems great. Let's keep it. Um, We can actually, let's play Thriving Hearth first because I don't think we need, like A, this gives us a green, which we don't have naturally. And we don't really need to scry right here. We have some good stuff going on. We can edge of autumn first because that guarantees us. Oh, look at this little guy. Hey, little buddy. Uh, well, now we have a green anyway, so play this. Cast Edgy Boy. And let's get another green. So many greens. So next time we can go this into this. It's one, two, three, four, five. Next turn we'll have six. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. Don't do anything. So one, two, Talisman. Temple, one, two, three, four, five. Bottom that, I would love a six drop here. But we clearly have enough time to play Primordial here, so. Nothing again. Well, that's a seven drop. But you know what? That's okay. We'll just play that on a future turn. I think I do something. Nothing. This is wild. I don't know how many how many answers a red deck is going to have to a 7-7. Seven, seven. Now they have white. So now we're going to Primordial and kill that. Okay. Thank One, you. One, two, three, four, five, six. What up, Tanos? Always a pleasure, my dude. Solid gentleman. Let's get rid of this guy. But my grandpa gave me that white mana. Three three red, huh? They going face? Almost four years. God, what? Where does the time even go? Another. I've never played a high power cube, but always. You've never played vintage cube? It was literally just up like a week ago. I never, it's so funny whenever Vintage Cube is up and I see people posting about like standard or Kaldheim drafts on Twitter, I never understand it. I'm always like, but why? Okay, wait, is this just a, what is this? What's going on here? It deals damage to, yeah, I'll just block. That's fine.
And I'm just like, I feel like it's so weird to me that like people choose to draft more Kaldheim that's been out for like months than like Vintage Cube. Like that seems so weird to me. Um, I have to take a point here, but they have three cards. What if they steal this? Like we just did, right? I've enjoyed Call Time too, but the reason I enjoy Call Time is because it's one of the sets that has closest felt like a vintage cube in a long time. <laughs> you know, it's like it's got a very cube like feel because there's a lot of high power cards. There's a lot of deck manipulate like ways to draw cards. There's a lot of ways to uh, fix your mana. I think it might be safer to just play both of these. I don't. Are there any active treason effects in this cube? Hold on, I have to. I have to find out. This is just knowing what you're playing around. Instance. It does not look like it. There's Claim the Firstborn, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, you know what? There's at least one? What is it? I don't see... Oh, Sorceries. Hold on, let me look at the Sorceries. Uh, Cathartic, Incendiary, Royal Eruption... Oh, there's Song Mad Treachery. Are you referring to that one? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. We'll pay four for this. We go to four. We get two more. We get six. I am a little scared of it, I'll be honest with you. And I think we're doing just fine without it. Let's play Predario and Rami Boy. Baby. Get in there. I see. Well, you do not have trample, my good man. So blocks for me. Number one more creature control attack, add that much mana in combination. So we can actually play this for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. We can attack with all of them and still and then play Dracu, Seth. I mean, we're attacking with this. I guess we can have, we can only attack with these two and then sack this. I don't know if that's even better. Oh, we can also just attack with her as well. Go one, two, three. Keep this guy around as a blocky block. Which might be better. We can also just spitting image the Kozilex Predator, which is probably... Actually, that's even better, I think. Oh, they're going to do a thing. Okay. I accept. My little predator. Oh God. Yep, that's that's a thing we were not looking forward to. Boy, that's uh that's oh buttery biscuits. Oh man, and we have spitting image. <laughs> oh boy. Um yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. I keep my blockers up. I, I don't think we lose this game if we... Oh! They do have Song Mad Treachery. It's on the battlefield right now. The guy who played against Dracuseth is a smart guy. When did they play that? Interesting. Oh, they played it... The, play, the turn we played Boggart Ram Gang... The turn we would have played it, the turn, the next turn, they literally played it. Wow. <laughs> Rocky Saber, I assume you're my last opponent. MTG Nerd Girl, what up? Oh my God, with the raid. Really appreciate you, lady. I mean, 
we just spitting image this, right? <laughs> like. <laughs> this is game, right? Okay, let's go to the next game. Like, you don't, you can't, no, there's no way, right? I guess we'll attack with this guy. Sure, why not? I thought I read that. Yeah, good games. This key has been fun so far. I mean, I'm three matches in, but I like it. What up, everybody from MTG Raid, MTG, MTG Raid Girl, <laughs> MTG Nerd Girl stream. Appreciate you guys. We are drafting some uh, Nega Cube, which has been an interesting take. On the Shut opposite. Take my money. Oh, Kurt one raid buck. I appreciate you, buddy. Oh, we just win the game. Apparently, you cannot beat copied Palaka worms. Apparently, that's that's going to be too good. It's too much. Bring in Perilous Mirror. Um, I mean, Mayor's probably going to die immediately, but if he flips, he just makes bodies. So it's probably better than some other things we could choose. Uh, Toski's a blocker, kind of. When Vala gains life, this kills something. We'll probably cut Primordial. Probably cut Miraculous Recovery, too. All right. Let's see if we can 2 1 this bad boy. I believe. Well, not with a hand like this, though. Okay. This I'm more. I'm more keen on. Let's get rid of Ram Gang. I don't foresee us Ram Ganging it. Linvala seems good, right? What is it like? You gain five and you make a three three. I assume we'll have fewer creatures and I assume we'll have a fewer life. Fewer life? Less life. Less life. Give me a four drop. Give me like a treasure hunter. Well, Reckoner doesn't seem that great, right? Because they can they only have to deal three to the Reckoner and then they can trample over with the rest. Oh, Jesus. Well. So they've hit two lands, which is actually pretty decent. We have six mana already. Okay. I don't hate it. That does let us play Linvala next turn. Hopefully they just go Creature, and then we go Linvala. And then they're like, oh no! And then I'm like, oh yeah! And, you know, it's it's like the Kool-Aid man. That's that's 50%... Oh no, this guy's going to get hasty. I think that's still fine. Are you going to kill my Druid? Oh, I think they're going to kill my Druid. They actually can't... They can't equip this, because then this guy just dies. I think they're killing the druid, which is actually a reasonable setback. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think we might be dead here. Wow, this is like... So we take six next turn? Ugh. One thing they could do is move this over, attack for five, and then unequip it somehow. If they play another creature, they, the bird's just dead. Or maybe not, because they're going to take one because they're unequipping it. They're putting it on something else. So, I don't know, man. Magic's hard. Or they could just do that, I guess. That's also good. Oh, boy. Here are my TSR rare cards. Time shifted in case you need any for QLA requirements. I get to draft the cube with... Atonis, as soon as COVID's over, I would actually love to draft with you, buddy. I'm going to keep this open and then I'll let you know if I need anything. Man. So sad. Alexander, have a good night. I hope you have a good night. Got him. I will play first. It's a little rough. All these hands without acceleration are a little rough. And these hands with one land, even more rough. I 
<laughs> you know what? This is this is gonna do. This will do. All right. One, two, three, four, five mana. Essentially, I think we just have to ship the two seven drops. Or one seven drop one mountain. We go fertile ground. Yeah, let's do that. Like I do want to keep some <laughs> some pressure in the late game. Yeah, that's why we do it. Because the odds of drawing lands are high. This guy, Rishkar. You know what? Just on my guy seems fine. I should not have. I should have actually kept this up. Oh, man, that's gonna cost us. Man, just mortar pod number two. Um, yeah, I'll just take three here because we can kill this guy next turn. I guess we should have blocked. I, I actually, I didn't actually entirely know what that guy did, so. That's pretty good. I feel like we're just, I feel like all our draws have been really kind of awkward. And I think our deck was fun, but I don't think we're one, two, three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five. Mm, yep, our hand is a six mana spell. Yeah, I should have actually just killed this guy. That was a, that was a pretty big mistake, unfortunately. <laughs> we keep drawing this with like no creatures yeah i'm pretty sure we're dead here three four five six seven eight and then i can sack at least two things yeah this is i mean this cube has been fun but like i don't know i feel like we kind of got screwed in our in the like we in the matches we lost we kind of drew a bunch of big things or a bunch of lands and nothing that actually interacted favorably. So <sighs> what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just ending the video on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head on over to twitch.tv. Try to subscribe if you're able to. Really appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.